Hey there viewers and we are on day 17 of the web design challenge and this is a startup tackling mental health issues. My name is Roy, I'm a web designer at Awesome 2 ws let's get into the challenge. And before we get into the challenge I would highly encourage you to get involved, just open up Figma or Adobe XD, your choice of design tool and just give yourself one hour and then share it on this channel you can share it in the comments with a link or share it on social media so let's get into the challenge okay so this was quite a long brief so what i was trying to do was highlight some key words uh, just to break it down so mental health issues big data approach the name is ben sound i didn't realize that ideas ai.net gives you the, the name of the company now which is even cooler um, other keywords was virtual space so this must be to do with the current pandemic everything is remote nowadays uh, people can post their symptoms get support and connect with each other the platform reached the high the insights provided by the data from all the posts of people with mental health issues the most personalized accurate diagnosis possible and that's quite a mouthful it actually took me a while to digest but it's important to digest this stuff because that's what the design is going to be about. So here I'm just trying to break it down, uh, list out important keywords, connect with your friends, families and neighbours, uh, or families probably before friends, virtual space so that will be remote, it's mental health, and it's using data to offer personalised accurate diagnosis. Straight away I just put in the, the nav item which is a component and I just change the text to bend sound so that's pretty straightforward and I've made the main heading uh, pretty big I've gone in with I believe 48 pixels or 64 pixels and then the sub heading or the subtext I went in with 18 or 24 pixels can't remember exactly now and then I just straight away dragged in my component which is a a large CTA button uh, and then here it's get started with your email input field uh, and what I had some feedback on the button saying that's pretty big on Instagram which I agree uh, however I'm targeting potentially the elderly maybe I'm not sure if they're gonna use this site it might be their their young their sons or their kids that will use it um, but just in case uh, I've made the target pretty big uh, as that's why I made the button 72 pixels height and now I'm just in Tailwind CSS UI uh, and this you'll just get in the Figma community and I'm just trying to get icons that will represent uh, community or well chat connecting data so you can see there I've got the heart I've got chat uh, icons I have a tick and I have a tick document which is like the diagnosis so again icons are not 100% perfect but it has a rough idea or it gives me a rough idea of what I'm trying to achieve and at the end of the day your uh, your concept or design it really has to hit home with uh, the business the business goals the user goals so I was having in mind that this could be for elderly possibly or the the family the member would encourage them to go on to the website and they would have to go through the po the process so anyway i'm on unsplash and i'm looking for anything to do with mental health um and again i think i'm probably not finding anything that i think could fit so what i'm doing here i'm just having a play looking at google fonts looking at if i can make it a bit more personal handwritten font but I felt maybe it is a bit hard to read if, if it's for the elderly group. So I thought, okay, let's just be safe. Let's stick, let's stick to Poppins, which again is a very round, friendly font. So I wanted to, I wanted the whole design to be appear friendly as well. Uh, and there was some really good stuff with, um, I can't remember which photographer it is, but they had some really good photos. And again, I'm trying to. Uh, look at any illustrations that might fit the brief but I don't think I could find anything so um, or maybe I did we'll see in a minute 
uh, it has to be it has to portray being remote um, and I think yeah and it has to be like a family possibly that's what I'm, I'm aiming for is a family so they have to <laughs> they have to look like a family um, so one scenario is my own situation possibly with my mom uh, who's over 70 so possibly an elderly and the, the son or daughter I think that could fit the brief well just to keep it simple you don't have too many images on the uh, hero and again I think I'm looking for family home because everyone's at home nowadays so um, this is where the environment is going to be at home and then I think I'll come across uh, some really good images but this is more about covid as opposed to mental health even though it's a bit related because of lockdown um, so I found a nice image or yeah this was quite a nice image but again I think it probably doesn't fit the brief 100% because it's a young it's a young kid with grandma which I think is a nice image um, anyway I'm just trying things out I'm building up the collection uh, so I can come back to it later now I'm just pursuing the the elderly photo and I thought that, that one in the middle she's she looks quite nice and it's quite a high quality image I put that in remove BG because I wanted to um, I just wanted to use that same technique I have before which is to put the person in a circle add some colors to it just to make it a bit more friendly um, and here I'm just looking for other people now that I think could be a family uh, or look like a family um, so I've, I've got three images and then uh, and then the elderly is there and then I proceed to put in a younger person and I think they that could be a grand a grandma or mum and daughter team and then I put in a male because I wanted to uh, uh, have it a bit more diverse maybe that could be a friend or you know we, we don't know so the colors in there again I put in some bright colors I thought I could go with green um, and then green is associated with wellness uh, so I thought okay let's go with green and health uh, so that's why I went with the heading green but at this point I think maybe the green is too strong it's already on the left so you can read from left to right so uh, again I put the icons as a process of how the business could work uh, or the process of it so I'm just putting in some very simple shapes again circles and the circles are 100 pixel by 100 pixel and I always double the size of the icons not always but in this case I did so they're originally 24 by 24 pixels I just times it by 2 uh, and they're 48 uh, width and height most of them and then there it's a really nice technique you put the lightest color and then the, and then around for example the pink it will be pink dash 500 um, and then yeah I'm just putting more icons around the the avatars just to unify it with the icons on the left I'm using pie charts just to see that it's data and the tick as well and I put a border around the input again because of the elderly they might not their, their the visibility might not be as good and I tend to just use a background gray but I thought the border make it make it more easy to see um, so again what I'm doing I'm just trying to look for anything about diagnosis I'm thinking three images of people is not enough we really need to represent the business which is data so now I'm looking for data related photos uh, and I got to this point where yeah okay that image is probably represents it a lot better um, you've got mother daughter and data and I thought that fits it very well so happy with that and we are at the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed it if you do like the content leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the notification bell and please do get involved get in the challenge uh share it in the comments or find me on social media instagram or dribble i'm, I'm constantly there daily so you'll find me 
my name is Roy and have a good morning, afternoon and evening. Bye.